Hi everybody, welcome back to Movie Related. Well, I guess we uh, were asked to watch a couple of series out there, and uh, we have Sweet Tooth, we have Snowpiercer, and we have... Ragnarok. Ragnarok. Okay. That's quite a variety. Hmm. Quite a variety. So, uh... All would, of these can be found on Netflix, right? Yeah. yeah. And I think they kind of all fall under the science fiction-y type category. Mm, yeah. I Somewhat? Guess. Sure. Yeah. So let's take a look. Three different series. What do we think? Mm. Okay, Mark. Mm -hmm. You got to watch. I've been curious about this. Because it's the Thor. Yeah. So, Ragnarok. Well, yeah. So, Ragnarok, it follows uh, this family. They're they're moving from one place to another. This is a foreign film. Like, it's... They're, they're, the sound doesn't match their lips when they're talking, and the subtitles don't match the the dubbed talking either. Oh, I, I watched this series. What? I just forgot it was called Ragnarok. You're kidding. Yeah. You, you <laughs> forgot you watched a Thor series. Oh, I watched half of it. I watched half of it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so it follows this family, and <laughs> on their trek uh, to moving to this this new location, uh, there's some old lady or somebody who's trying to cross the road, and one of the boys, the blonde kid, gets out and helps her get across the road, and then this sort of witchy lady comes out and says, you a good boy, and uh, curses him or blesses him or does something where she touches him, and suddenly he starts to develop like the powers of the gods. No, he he already had it in him, and I think she unlocked, she recognized it, and unlocked it further. Because he Is that what it, you think happened? I don't know. As they were driving, he knew it was going to rain. Right? Well, that's, yeah, he started to develop these things. Um, where he could suddenly throw a hammer, like a kilometer and a half, and stuff like that, and he starts to develop these things slowly, but, uh, and his, it, it is truly like a Thor- and and Loki kind of a feel because the brother to me reminded me of Loki right away. Yeah. Um, but uh, I don't know. It's it's it was entertaining. I don't know if I would want to watch it again, but it was entertaining to just sort of see the development of the superhero powers. Yeah. If you bring it right down to like hometown Norway, is it? I think so. Yeah. Hometown Scandinavia. Uh, like, the kid isn't super gorgeous. Uh, the other actors are just okay. It's like watching a Canadian movie, kind of. Thing. Kind of, yeah. Uh, like us Canadians, like... we ain't too good looking, eh? <laughs> a, big, a big Hollywood production, it wasn't. No. Uh, uh, but there was something okay about it. Yeah. Uh, I was really looking forward to... Like a B movie that you don't mind. Yeah. Right? Uh, if you don't like uh, dubbing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the one thing I was disappointed with is he ha had this girl he was interested in and uh, the relationship doesn't work out and then you don't see her anymore. And I was interested in her character. And then all of a sudden she's gone. Well, she died. Good spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I, I thought you didn't understand what well, happened. I, there was a reason why I knew she wasn't there anymore. Okay, well, okay. Apparently she's dead. <laughs> okay, but would you say it's worth watching? I would say, honestly, if you have nothing else to watch, oh. put it on. It's tough. It's tough. If you're okay with foreign films uh, and you're really into Thor stuff. Is it English speaking it's, or it's, is, it, is it... It's dubbed in English. It is, but the voiceovers are in English. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sweet Tooth. Sweet Tooth uh, is new on Netflix. I've been looking at the icon for this and thinking, what? Okay. Well, one of the girls, the deer... Uh, that's a boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Uh, my wife and I saw the trailer for it, and she goes, hmm, you want to try that? And I said, no. Oh, <laughs> that trailer looked so cheesy. It looks like it's going to be for kids with a lot of bad acting. Uh, and, oh, my God, it was good. What? It was good. I'm glad I watched it. This is the babies with the animals. Yes. So the premise of the whole thing is uh, they're looking for... They're, they took viruses from the deep Arctic ice, and they're trying to make vaccines and stuff like that. But along with the vaccine work, they were experimenting with it, and suddenly something happens where half human, half animal children are being born. But also a virus breaks out. 
Uh, and so they think that these half-breeds are the cause of the virus. So there's a lot of like racism against those animal things. And a guy takes one of the, the first one into the forest to save him, uh, raises him. Uh, and it's basically a society where half the world's population is, is gone uh, from the virus. And when they come across these half-breeds, they, they capture them and sell them for money. And then they're killed or experimented on or something like that. And the acting was super good. Uh, there's this really uh, Disney feel about it. With the, it has a, a narrator that you could pluck right out of like old Disney movies. Uh, and you would think that, oh, the little cheesy animal children, that is for kids. No, because there's a lot of adult plots in it too. So it's like something that a, an early teen all the way up can enjoy. Hmm. And I'm really glad I watched it. It's based on uh, DC Comics. The people that read the comics before really loved the comics, and they're kind of disappointed with this because the comics uh, fleshed out the characters more. But for someone who never read the comics, this is just a notch below uh, the Queen's Gambit for me. Really? Yeah. Hmm. So that was a good series. It has an 8 point something out of 10 on IMDb. <sighs> people are loving it. I'm going to have to watch it now. It's, it's good. Hmm. Okay. I don't know. I was going to rewatch Awake, <laughs> but now I guess I'll have to watch that. If you, if you haven't seen the video yet, it'll be out, or it has been out. <laughs> Don't be turned off by the title Sweet Tooth. I thought I would never watch anything called Sweet Tooth, uh, but uh, I recommend it. So this is one of the, include that in the bad titles. It's not really a bad title. It just, it didn't draw me into the it, watch it. It sounds like a Willy Wonka remake. Yeah, yeah. So, or or a dude. cooking show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, Snowpiercer. Some people asked uh, to watch that, and I was watching Snowpiercer. It's based on the movie Snowpiercer with Chris Evans, and it is just as violent of a series. So if you're thinking you're going to sit there and watch it with your kids, no. There is mutations and torture, and there is nudity, and, you know, lots of blood splatter. There's axe attacks and knife attacks, and there's just blood all over the place. So, so is this a following the movie, or is it a reboot of the movie? It's a reboot of the movie. The train is going on, and you have your different classes everywhere from the last class, which is the poor people who basically... They're, um, they're always cold, they have less food than everybody else, and then the people in the next parts of the train will come, and when somebody dies or something in the other areas of the train, they'll come and take one person to fill in the gap. Because everybody has a job to keep the train going. Oh, so a lottery, you hope you win that lottery. It's, yeah, except they, they, they don't even lottery, they just pick somebody that they mm. think will fit, kind of thing. And it could be any job. We think you will now be uh, trained as the assistant mechanic, or we are putting you in the uh, house of irrepute, if you know what I mean. And you don't know what it is. Well, that and, sounds fair. Right? And you have the Ritz Society up at the front of the cat, who basically run everything. Mm -hmm. But everyone believes that this is, the train is being run and commanded by Wilfred, who bought the train and got the train running. It's a thousand and one cars long, and it's continually running. Because if it slows down, uh, everybody will freeze. Because the world is in basically the Arctic. Every, everything you see is frozen. Okay? Wilfred, it's not a spoiler, Wilfred's dead. And he has been. And the woman... Why is that not a spoiler? Because they say it right at the beginning. Oh. It's one of the first things they discover. Episode 2. <laughs> so, um, so and, don't watch hmm. this until you've seen episode uh, 2. Yeah. <laughs> so... The whole thing is basically somebody from the last car gets out and he is a detective and they bring him in because somebody was murdered and he goes to solve, but it, he's a detective and he starts finding out all these different things about, you know, hey, this was not being run properly. This person is doing something secret. This is a payoff person. And he's finding out all the secrets of the train. And then you have the woman who's in charge. You never know if she's really good, really bad. She's She'll be violent one minute and then sweet the next. And it, it's just basically the life of the train. Okay, and it's into season two now. So 
if you liked Snowpiercer, you will probably like the movie. You will probably like this series. How's the acting? The acting is fine. Good acting in it. Nudity? There's a little bit of nudity, not overly abundant. Okay, but they don't shy away from the violence at all. I just watched an episode where there's a big train uprising, just like Snowpiercer. If you remember the big scene when they're fighting in the dark and all, exactly the same way. So, um, yeah. It's, so it's, if you've seen the movie, have you seen this series? No. Okay. Because it's all, it's different characters and there's intrigue. There's, there, you know, there's backstabbing and you, what's this person going to do and how are they going to get away and oh, this person's caught now and oh, they got away, how do they do it? This kind of thing, so... It's been interesting. Um, is it my best series I've ever watched? No. Is it entertaining? Yeah, I'd give it a watch. But be prepared for the violence. Okay, so family movie, family series. Adult. Adult, okay. Absolutely. And, and probably geared towards men? Well, no. A lot of the main characters are all women. Okay. And like power, like in charge women kind of thing, so... Okay. Yeah, I would say this would go for anybody. Just because there's violence doesn't mean it's not geared towards everybody. So. Okay. So okay. Here, there you go. Sweet Tooth, Snowpiercer, Ragnarok. Ragnarok. Ah, I'm curious about Ragnarok. The, the, the whole dub thing kind of turned me off a little bit at the beginning. Give it, of give it. it a watch. I mean, right from the first episode, you're going to know whether you want to continue watching it. It, it keeps popping up on my Netflix. Recommended. Recommended. <laughs> so well, there you go well that's three episodes let us know if you guys watched any of them paul really high on sweet tooth and mark so so warm lukewarm on ragnarok, ragnarok. and i am yeah it's okay snow piercer so yeah. it's something for everybody <laughs> well i hope you appreciate the video why not check out some more of our others down below and until next time i guess we'll see you on the channel